body. How you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. And your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. Now today, from your look on my table, you see what is gonna happen. I want to show you how versatile a Jamaican can be in preparing our national dish, which is the ackee and the saltfish. And now today I'm going to pre prepare it for you authentically. For it to be prepared authentically, you need some hackies, you need some green scallion, you need some saltfish, you need some onions, scotch bonnet pepper, black pepper, some garlic, and coconut and cooking oil, whatever the oil. And these are all compulsory. There is no nothing optional is here, okay? Authentically. I have over here two pots. I have some with some water. This is for the hockey. This is gonna be for the salt fish. All right, so just follow me as we go along. I have one dozen hockey. And if you want to know how I say one dozen hockey, there is a video up on the channel and it's hockey information session. I'm gonna link for you in the description that video. That you can go to it get the additional information all of that that all of that that was said it was said in that video now the other day i was watching something on youtube you know and i hear a gentleman no jamaican accent in the have you know no jamaican accent and he looked in the camera and he, he was preparing aki and saltfish and he was preparing the one from the tin mind you i understand the one in the tin is for export very minimal with the Jamaican people are by Aki nothing. Those are for export, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably a few people. I've never used the one in the tin. I have no clue. Okay? And you know, no Jamaican accent. It's, it was quite clear he wasn't a Jamaican from his, his accent. And he looked in that camera and he said, if you go to Jamaica, certain time of the year, and he was speaking very direct to the people in and pick some ackees from the tree and cook it, you will die. I never find nobody for video. Camera girl is my camera, she know she does camera. She never come from school here for make her when I pick it. I just pick them from my tree. And in no matter any time I hear you pick it, I'm gonna show you from the tree authentically, right? So I have, I'm gonna give you the proportion and I'm gonna link for you in the description. I have four ounces of saltfish and we work out that for you in grams. We are putting up four ounces of saltfish to one dozen seeds of ackee. That's the proportion. So if you are used two dozen ackee, you know it will be eight ounces. We work out the grams for you, okay? What you need to do is rinse off the excess salt of your saltfish. Hmm? So you run it under your pipe water and you rinse off the excess salt. You're going to put it in here to scald, right? And looking at that, you might want to scald it. You scald it as soup and scalding is as not boiling. Not boiling. Because if you leave this to be boiling for another 10, 15 minutes, you would never get the salt out of it. As soon as it starts boiling, you pour off that water, catch some more cold water on it, and put it. So this look like we can take it in order to cut down the salt content, because you know we don't need too much of the salt, okay? Especially me. So we're gonna watch it there, and as soon as it starts boiling. We are gonna throw off that water, catch another one, company. Now we have the water here, so the aki for going a water while boil. Let me turn on this to the lowest. The aki for going a water while boil straight. Or probably it start boiling. We can just turn off the stove a bit. The aki must go into boiling water. So what we'll about happen here? So now we're gonna start cleaning off my aki them. Okay. So remember, and I'm not gonna show you because it's in the video. You go watch that video. It's calling. I'm going to turn up my flame on it. Mm -hmm. and, and this video, you got to be riding and whistling. You got to be watching me and I hope you're not confused. Eh? So, because you might look and say, Debbie, you just admit it easy for you, you know? But if you watch, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we have that. You got to watch. As soon as it starts boiling like a bit, you know, you just pour off that water, catch some more, do it one more time to be safe on, on the salt content part. Right? So look what I'm going to do now. See me right here, so clean me up, clean my aki them, you know. Hmm? Yeah. Cleaning my aki, just get it from the tree. So I'm going to clean up my aki them, and when we come back, you'll see how I'm going to proceed to cook up my aki. Okay, family. 
I clean off my dozen aki and if you see this is the pickings or the, what we, this this is not we don't want this this is what we this is the part we're gonna use we don't want that so this is what is left nice firm aki remember some aki can be of a soft and nature they have different different types of aki but okay let us get going the water over here boiling rigorously and I threw half the first water of the fish and it's coming to a boil to scald it off for the second time now we're going to wash the haki you want some warm water not cold water to wash this haki not cold water some warm water and this look like it could be it's a little bit yeah warm water warm to your hand not nothing to burn you hmm? so we're coming right over here we don't need any more water than this because it's just a dozen haki and this still might be too much so you're going to put your aki in just a warm little warm water to rinse off the aki not cold water please okay so we have our aki in there you don't start the pot before you put in the aki you put in the aki and this water is too much so i'm gonna take out some this is too much this is like a dozen akis so we don't want now we just want the water nearly covering over the aki we don't want a lot of water boiling boiling and yeah this is good because we're going to cook it on medium heat now that we put the aki in there we want to proceed to salt it you have to cook the aki with some salt that it has a little taste eh? you don't salt the water first before you put in the aki boiling so but when you put the aki in there it is gonna lower uh, it is gonna lower the temperature of the water so it will take a little time before it build up back eh? so we're going to taste for salt perfection I remember the salt fish yes yeah, so see the salt fish coming to a boil it's not ready yet you know but by the time i'm gonna show you when you take off the salt fish okay so this is good for me because remember the salt fish have been some salt so when everybody come by one doesn't act in this is how you want your water to be you don't want right in camera girl you don't want to have this amount of aki and then you have the pot with the water full up up here no all right so you're going to cover your pot properly and you're going to set your your flame and medium Huh? Okay, you know why your haki boiling and some because when the haki is boiling and too much of a high heat it's some part cook and some part don't cook huh medium heat all right haki boiling salt fish still now come up to the way we want to leave it yet okay all right so now well while that is cooking we soon take off that now we are gonna prepare our herbs seasoning herbs or whatever now look at this this is ready for, for come out this is it starts to boil so as soon as it starts to boil you just take it off the flame because if it starts to boil and it'll be there too long so you're gonna throw this water now throw off this hot water mm -hmm. you're gonna rinse it off again throw off that water and then you're gonna leave it in some other water if you want you can drop two cubes of ice in there just to make it thin here so we have a key cooking saltfish cook and if they're there, I go soak off in a, some cold water. You soak it off in the cold water to get it to a temperature that your hands can clean off the scale and pick it up. Yeah? So we're going to cut up the season and come back. When we come back, Aki is supposed to be cooked. And remember, this is the Haki that was just picked from the tree. You treat it different from how you treat the tin one. Well, the tin one, you don't have to cook it, I think. And the one that you like you come to Jamaica and you get it and you go and freeze it you treat it different because remember the free, deep freeze the freezing method partially tenderize it already so you have to deal with it at a, in a different manner eh? so when you see me back again them seasons are up sorry the herbs are going to cut up on something selfish pick up the bone and we are going to put the national dish together right here right now family i came right back to show you this when your aki is cooking it's it is not supposed to be cooking at a higher speed than this you saw it is take time like it's sort of steaming down this is how you cook it gently on a medium heat therefore it is properly properly being cooked eh so you're going to give this about another 10 to 12 minutes some akis go longer so this is how you want to have it not too much water in the pot because it's just a certain amount so at this point now you have an idea how much aki you how much water i'm sorry you're to use for how much aki eh? okay now family look at this the aki is not fully cooked as yet okay not fully cooked but what you want to do at this point you want to turn off your flame and you're going to leave it in the water for about four to five minutes eh? 
four to five minutes some part it's not fully cooked so you're going to turn it off because you've got to be start being gently at the gentle at this point so you're going to leave it in the water for another four to five minutes so let the hot water stay there and continue with the tenderizing process idea eh? okay now family we're well, actually finished so so you want to do now whatever you have a colander whatever strainer you want to strain off your eh? leave it on top of the stove it is still draining in, in, in this here so you have it there draining huh and you cover it have it there keeping warm huh mind you know you have some nature aki they are um they're harder than this so they will take longer that's the name let me tell you something i wash the aki with warm water because from a child growing up my mother would say when you wash your aki with cold water it make the aki tree bear pure butter aki after that and listen to me butter aki is just like another aki just the same as this aki but it is of a softer nature nobody wants to have anything to do with butter aki but i like butter aki it's really nice it's nice when you cook it with just rice nobody won't have nothing to do with butter aki the tree because she said constantly washing the aki with the cold water it makes the tree that the aki comes from automatically becomes butter aki and all of your jamaican we're born and growing in our country if you ever hear anything about that please come in please come in no one in a room for open me up in the comment tell me y'all i would i would i would be love for you i'd be so elated to hear if i'm me alone of that eh you could never ever wash her water or aki with cold water so i was brought up from a small child to wash my aki with warm water because she said if once you wash it with the cold water and put it in the pot it will get softy softy so we aki there is a drain and something we'll pick up the selfish and we'll come back and show you where we'll put that in here together all right now family so i cut up my, 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 my herbs and i have my selfish pick up pick up the bone most of the bone come up but you know no one and two will leave I'll well out and you have a reasonable amount of oil. I'll put it in the salt. You don't put in this, this first. When the oil has not need to put in first. You're going to fry the salt fish till it gets, you know, make it fry till it gets a little crispy color. Don't put in the seasoning first, family. You cannot put in the seasoning first. Can you do this thing on an IE? So look at this, the, 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 the salt fish now. You see them get a little brownish color, like them get a little crisp in it. When you put in the seasoning first and then you put in the aki after, the aki just tastes water, water. And you know, you want the aki get a little fry up like yeah, fry up like a bacon or something. But this is not bacon. I have one on the channel. This is my very first video. Look at this. You notice it taking a little crisp? Yeah, very high eat your habitat. And that is why you want some pie. Yeah? Look at the salt fish. Yes, so you fry your salt fish till it looks soft. The next thing you're going to put in, you must have whole, we might not put in all of the skeleton, but most of the green part. We're going to put in. Look at what I'm doing, you know. Get right in on what I'm doing. And you're going to put in some onions. Eh? Yes. I eat. And you have to have everybody incorporating now. Hmm? Stirring, and stirring constantly and scraping around. Look at the aki with the herbs. Sorry, look at the salt fish with herbs down in there now. Hmm? So you make them onion you cook down till them get a little bit like, you know, softened. Not too, too soft. Eh? But you're going to cover your pot. Some people at this stage, they will put in tomato. If you want, you can put in. I don't do tomato in my ackees. But for me, it gives it a sour taste. But go ahead and put yours. And mind you, the tomato gives it a really nice um, presentation with that red and the yellow and the green from the skillet. It does, I must admit, it does give it a pretty presentation, whole overall look and everything. Eh? But for me, the tomato and the aki, it no work. If you if you have the same problem, please comment below. All right, listen to this. Hello, if you're if from your Jamaican and you know you come anywhere around me by my kitchen, you, say, you know me I cook aki and salt fish, yeah? All right. Look at this, y'all. 
Look at this. You see them, them not burn. Everything that's a gel down in the oil. Eh? Yeah. We're still not ready to put it in the acid. I'll give two more stir. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Yeah. Hmm? Two more stir because we want the onion them kind of cook till them get a little more soft hmm? and then kind of relax. Them two, them two like cock up in the pot. Let me say cock up. Them two like them straight. Them two at it, at it up in the pot. Them two push up the one and then get down a little more. Eh? Remember when we just put them in all them look? Alright. We are going to go back up and we eye eat you now. Because we are going to turn over our aki inside of this thing. Eh? Okay, hold on. You know, see me forgot. Ooh, my stove is off, y'all. I'm sorry. This is a must. This is a must. Listen to me. Put the amount that you can manage. The scotch bonnet pepper is not optional in the ackee and salt fish. It is compulsory. But you put, you don't have to put a lot, but you need that flavor. All right? Now look at the, the onions. You see how much them come down and get relaxed? Look at this. Haki time now. Right over. Haki properly drained. Right over. Mm -hmm. Flame on um, medium to low. Because you need to put in something with them curry and black pepper. And you have to put in a reasonable amount. That's how the Haki asks for the black pepper. That is how it is going to have the look. And that is good. Now I always say to you. This is how you stir. From the bottom and over from the bottom and over and you're good look at this and you keep it up into the pot look at that this here when i shoot let me cover get right in camera shoot them up on this one shoot them up yeah yeah all right let me lower my flame i want to say something to you when i told you that the proportion of the salt fish to the aki that's what it gives you when you use the right amount of salt fish to the right amount of aki this is how it looks you see aki and you see salt fish because originally that's how you have to have enough salt fish in here to bring it up and the salt fish not if you just flat down and white and dead deadly you need to can identify that crispy piece of salt fish inside there what we're doing here now we are letting them rest on a low flame to let all that scotch bonnet pepper all that black pepper all that the flavor from that green skelly and which is superb we want them staying in there and taking taking everything coming together gelling to give you that authentic taste of the aki and the salt fish remember i said to you if you want at this point some tomato with the perfect perfect color perfect everything but for me not the perfect taste don't like the, the, the tomato and the aki but if you want go ahead for me it give it, it change the flavor of the aki it make it a sort of sour thing so if you like it do it as i said to you perfect presentation with the red tomato in there but for me i don't do it eh? so now we are going this now because they are properly gelled you want to wait and so till when you open the pot you see some steam are come out right? look at that look at what you see and we still don't have enough steam so we're going to leave it it just warm so we are going to leave it maybe we turn up the flame a little bit more because when we come back we want to see a little steam coming out so we know that the flavors are properly gel and look at it you see the green scallion you see the salt fish you see the onion rings and if we did put more scotch bunny you'd have seen the scotch bunny yeah here okay, now family i hope the camera can pick up the little steam we actually and salt fish done now at this point if you have what you would want to use is a slap it spoon to plate because you might not want to get up too much of the grease so you use a slotted spoon to plate eh? because the slotted spoon will drain off the excess grease eh? you look at this that i'm plating up look at it look at the salt fish in there this is how i like to see my akia salt fish this is how i like to see it salt fish as i tell you, you know the proportion of the salt fish to the aki i forget it right eh? yeah you got to get the proportion of the aki salt fish to the aki to have that look and you use a slotted spoon look at it now this is 
the, this is the authentic Jamaican Aki and Saltfish. And I say to you, I would only put a tomato rose on it for decoration. If you use tomato and you want to put it in here, so go ahead. I tell you, it's a real beauty to have the tomato in there, but not for me. As a Jamaican and as I know the taste of the ackee, the tomato is going to throw off the taste of the ackee. When you prepare this dish and you put thyme and you put jerk seasoning and you put all-purpose seasoning and you put chicken spice and meat spice, this is, that would be just ackee and saltfish. It would not be authentic ackee and saltfish. It would not be. So if you choose what you like, this is my authentic Jamaican ackee and saltfish. Yeah, so my Aki tree out there, so if it wasn't dark, I would have shoot up the camera and let you see it. Okay, wherever you are, you get the tin Aki. You can prepare it just the same. Because the tin Aki is done in order for who are abroad, you can get it. It is done for that purpose. Eh? So, you still can use your tin Aki and prepare your authentic Jamaican Aki. So it's not the tin Aki that will make it not authentic. It's not the tin aki because the tin aki is just the same aki. It's just that it is prepared to, 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 to ship abroad and it has to, to be done a certain way. It is the only part time and all purpose and jerk seasoning that is putting in there. The tin aki can be done and it is still authentic because the tin aki is just aki. It's just that they tinned it to, to, to for export. Eh? So now, from my kitchen to yours, to your family table, to your plate, to your to your kitchen table, to your everywhere you are. It's authentic Jamaican Aki and Saltfish. Now if you have liked this video, and as I said to you, we are going to link in the description. All oh, there is a video there with almost all the information on the Aki. We are going to link it for you. We have some more Aki videos. The first video that I have on YouTube is like this. But I twisted it with some fried, crispy fried bacon in this which would make it authentic. Well, I wouldn't say it's authentic. There are other things. You can put corn pork in it. Come on, mighty God, a lot of people didn't even remember about corn pork. I'll do for you that version with the ackee and the corn pork because it's not everybody can prepare that one either. You can also mix the corn pork and the, the salt fish and put it in here and it still be authentic. Eh? The bacon still would make it not authentic. It was just, it's just a little twist. Okay, so, once more from my kitchen to yours enjoy remember if you have liked the video please give it a thumbs up continue to subscribe remember to share the videos and remember to leave some comments below you have been so 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 warming you have been so good and i must say thank you so much thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart those of you who are up on over to the jamaican debbie debs Thank you so much for taking the time out to come on over there and you have been subscribing and you're leaving your comments and you are so much sharing the videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Once more, Debbie from Dongayan, bless, no stress. Hi, all you lovers out there, love is in the hair. Enjoy your Valentine's Day, okay?